We will write a simple CGI script with one input parameter uh, to get more practice with input parameters to get scripts briefly discussed in uh, previous screencasts. And uh, our script takes uh, one numeric parameter n from the user and uh, generates the first n elements of the Fibonacci sequence. So this is the input n equals 10. In this case, uh, well, it could be any n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 15, and depending on the value of n, the first 10 elements of the Fibonacci sequence will be generated. Let's go and take a look at the source code that will be generated by this uh, script, and we will use the CGI.PM uh, module, the pro uh, module, uh, discussed in the previous screencast. You can watch it to familiarize yourself with that, and it will be a very simple page. Uh, title Fibonacci sequence and the body will be uh, the second header, first 10 elements of the Fibonacci sequence or whatever the value of n is followed by the actual elements of that sequence. Now let's take a look at the source code. Of this Perl script uh, we use use warnings and use strict uh, pragmas and then this is where we uh, say that we will be using the CGI PM in this uh, script in a standard way and logically speaking we will print the header uh, then print the title um, of our dynamic HTML page Fibonacci sequence then we will retrieve the value of the hash key uh, query string uh, from the hash env that stores all of the CGI global CGI environment variables uh, that we discussed in the previous screencast then we get the value of the parameter n from the value of the query string and we'll generate uh, the first 10 elements of the Fibonacci sequence and return it as an array. Uh, so print header, print start HTML, Fibonacci sequence um, and this is uh, a, um, a quick example of the query string. So here's a simple URL uh, get fibsec.po n equals 5 and, and when n equals 5 the value of the query string will be the string n equals 5 so we uh, get uh, the value of the query string that string n equals 5 from the env uh, hash and uh, call handle query our subroutine handle query on the value of that string and then we print the end HTML uh, one of the functions that provided uh, to us um, in the CGIPM module so how do we handle the query? Let's make sure that shift is a function, right? So we get the argument, uh, which is, for example, n equals 5, or it could be empty. And if it is empty, if the user did not enter any arguments, then we'll just say your query has no arguments and break. Uh, otherwise, if, um, for example, user uh, enters n equals 10, then we split the query um, um, on the equals uh, string. Uh, and then put uh, the n uh, into the scalar n and v into the scalar and, and the value of, uh, of n, for example, 5 into the scalar v, which is going to be bound to the string 5. And then uh, we uh, um, turn the value of v into uh, an integer called uh, gen fib seek, uh, generate Fibonacci sequence from that integer, an array and uh, uh, call print uh, fibsec print uh, the Fibonacci sequence array. So let's go and take a look uh, at how um, uh, we can generate the Fibonacci sequence. Nothing unusual here. We uh, get the value of n, put it in the scalar, and uh, if n is equal to 2, uh, we uh, output an array, uh, a sequence, uh, an array of uh, the actual elements, uh, uh, Fibonacci sequence elements, the first 10 elements of the Fibonacci sequence, whatever that value of n happens to be. Uh, printing Fibonacci sequence is also easy. Uh, we iterate through the input array, uh, and uh, each uh, Fibonacci number is uh, uh, printed followed by a space. And at the end, we put two um, breaks, HTML breaks. Let's go uh, to our CGI directory and uh, start our uh, Python CGI HTTP server. Uh, you can watch the previous. Uh, screencasts uh, on this topic to find out how to do that and how to create that directory. And now let's go to the browser. Uh, the server is running and run this script actually. Run uh, this script with some, okay, so let's say n equals 2. Okay, here you go. Uh, 
let's um, try five. Okay, here we go. Let's try ten. Okay, let's um, try twenty. Okay, 